Vertex Smart Analytics accurately identifies persons and vehicles to reduce false alerts using the latest machine learning analytic tools. Spend less time looking at irrelevant video and only see what you really need. The area in which you would like to detect persons or vehicles is called the primary detection area and should be the majority of the camera's picture. Install the camera as close to the primary detection area as possible. Place your cameras in locations with as few obstructions as possible. Objects such as bushes, trees, and structures will limit the effectiveness of person and vehicle detection. A Vertex Smart Analytics default settings will deliver good results in most installations. We recommend you try out these settings for a week or two, and if you find that you are getting false alerts, you will need to adjust the settings. To adjust your settings, you'll need to log into your camera's setup menu. With the camera connected to a ProConnect recorder, enter the recorder's setup menu. In the Camera Setup tab, click on the camera you would like to adjust. Click on the IP address in the Camera Information column on the right side. Enter username and password to log into the camera. Camera passwords can be found by clicking on the eye icon in the Recorder's Camera Setup menu. Use Analytic Areas Regions to set and adjust a Vertex Smart Analytics. Person and Vehicle Regions can be configured individually. Detection Area is a shape to select the area you would like to enable Smart Analytics detections in the image. To create a detection area, first, click on Detection Area. Second, click on the image to set the first corner of the detection area. Third, move to the next corner point and click to set. Repeat this process to complete the shape. The detection area can be adjusted by clicking on a corner and dragging to the new position. Detection boxes are used to set the minimum and maximum sizes of objects you would like to detect using smart analytics in the image. Remember, minimum size is further away from the camera and maximum size is closer to the camera. To set the minimum and maximum detection boxes, it may be easier to have a person help. Green and red boxes will display in the analytic preview window to show when an analytic event is triggered and can help set up. To create a minimum or min size detection box, first, click on min size, second, Click and drag a box around a person or vehicle at the furthest distance from the camera you would like to detect. To create a maximum or max size detection box, first, click on max size. Second, click and drag a box around a person or vehicle at the closest distance from the camera you would like to detect. Threshold is the amount of time a person or vehicle must be in the detection area boundaries to trigger an alert. For example, if threshold is zero, an alert is triggered immediately when a person or vehicle is detected, and if threshold is eight, an alert is triggered after eight seconds. A vertex recommends leaving the threshold at zero to ensure detection alerts. Sensitivity defines the size of the object which can trigger the alarm. Setting the sensitivity too high can result in increased false alerts. A vertex recommends a sensitivity range of 85 to 95 for optimal person and vehicle detection accuracy. Click Save and the camera will use the new settings. Run your system for a few days. If you are still receiving false alerts, we recommend making small changes to your settings until you are satisfied with the results. Thank you for taking the time to understand your Avertex system better. As always, if you have any questions, please contact the Avertex Pro Team at 855-228-3789.